Hello and welcome back to the Bunny Saga. Let's go fighting, I guess, again? When you catch up to Ozif, she's already in mid argument with Heiko and Fassel. For this to work, we need to cooperate. Slow down, stop shouting at the moment. Now you need us, how convenient. Never mind, Heiko, why are we even listening to this? Gods, you're all starting to sound like true Gad, would you get it? We either work together or we die. Hear her out, she's earned that much. She expects the world to be her beast of burden. I'm not asking anyone to lower themselves, just work to our strengths. Look, Ru is shredding the walls with some kind of phone anchor. We can't reach him from here. It made me think of something we were saying. Everything you throw at me goes back at twice as hard. If the var gathered every oil bar we can find in Arboran and bring them here, we can wrap them up in netting. The next time Moon hurls it, its anchor into the wall, holds one rays along the top and drop the netting around it. And Ruin pulls the barrels back on herself. What does that guide us? We'll gather every archer we can find. Every time the other archers can organize a volley of fun, I was down on her. And boom. Will that be enough? I don't know, but the, it beats sending here mission all the way out east. Sounds to me like a lot of things ready to go wrong. The Varl are not great lovers of fire if we've forgotten. While whole bars when we could meet the Sunder on the field of battle, would Hjorundr have lowered himself like this in the Great Wars? I won't lie, the battlefield calls to me. Why are you all so obsessed with rushing off to battle? Ever since Fasold showed up, you've been acting like you've got death wish hidden. Ah, this one! You think we are just large men with simple minds? I have been alive for hundreds of years. You rush around fearing for your short lives like babies going for their mother. How we live is more important than how long. And you destroy our faint bridge and then act like it's nothing? Like you did us a favor, you short-sighted, arrogant. Fasold is a poor diplomat, but he's not wrong. Aenertoft was the last evidence of our existence. That bridge should have outlived the war who made it. I do not want to eke out a few weeks, a few more days scoring behind a wall. I do not want to carry barrels when I could die with a blade in my hand. We are the last of our kind. We are Varl. Hekon, please help us. We can't do this alone. Desperation doesn't look good on you. You do things your way, we'll do things ours. But that's not a new idea for you, is it? I'm sure Ruga will be eager to lend you his men because of how close you are. Are you kidding? Good luck. Olive shouts after the pharaoh as they leave, but soon realizes they aren't listening to a word. Damn it. We're going to miss their pharaoh in the coming fight. Come on, we've wasted enough time here. We'll gather as many old bars as we can without them. I'll help get helpers started, but you need to make sure this wall doesn't fall beforehand. So I lost all my varl? Damn it. I think the game froze. Give me a second. Got that out to breathing hard, just turn quickly. We got that dreader assaulting from the front gates all the way down to the water's edge. The Sundra is just going to brute force the wall with your sensor. Topple the whole thing and this will become a killing field. Bad news from our councilmen. Many dead or missing, some to dredge or to bedlam. Could you have could have been worse, but it's all going more since the sun didn't show up. Terrified villagers scream at the sight of dread breaching the wall, and mobs of people crash together, trying to escape in any direction they can. Gather anyone who can hold a weapon. We travel down the wall, pushing back the dredge until those bars are ready.
Look at all those people. They haven't got anywhere to run. We need to start patching the, these holes or there won't be anywhere safe in here. For now I suggest we focus on dredge. Get ready! Push out. Dredge continue to sweep through dashes in the wall like that you are from the recently. Be smart about it and don't give her cracks. We clear them out here then move on to the next bridge. Look at them, they're injured. No, oh, they are still injured. Well, just one stick with that. What if you guys hear something what? Yeah, that is a new. Plus fit all towns, what do we have? I'll keep this time. Ooh. That's Sundar going to keep tearing holes in the wall. One thing at a time. Dredge first. Let's there are some water over here. Show you what this is about. Wait, he didn't suffer from it? Hmm?
And we lost no one. That's good. Your numb arms remind you of the commander back in Skolko, but with no blood and fear involved. Or the men fill in the gaps uh, where you've moved on, holding the dread at bay. It's easier to walk than pushing them back. More trouble further down the road because and there's no time to rest. The sight of a man that surprises you. They've emerged from their labors and are weaving patterns in the air to repair the skin to move with exciting as well. How can we help? Odlif shouts up to one standing in the rubble, and to wrestle away weird love. He speaks softly, but it is clear that they need to replace with men and stone to dodge the damage. It may be dangerous for us to linger long, but just as you point it out, if you watch from a distance, Order of houses waiting to see what you do with the house of the Some water coming to get past me involves in the house. Before long, the familiar uh, faces are like a fresh building surprise. You will reluctantly leave them in harm's way and put you in the but the cause is worth it. Hope it pays off for the whole Hey, we're all in this together. My men are spread too few. Too much going on. Look at the horizon. So many just standing around, watching. Other houses. They are waiting for us to fall before they step in. But why are those barrels? mob of dangerous size is getting ahead of the harbor. You can see the bobbing mas masts of ship lurching from the harbor, heavy with people. But just worse, if sailing away was an option, we would have done it by now. The seas are poisoned like everything else around here. No doubt the serpent's blood. It chews away the wood and the fish are dead. There's nothing out here, there but death. Break up the crowd of deserters. We plead and threaten those heading toward the docks, asserting there's nothing out there. Some listen, but most ignore you. Can't reason with rainstorm, the responders of the supply. And we really need it elsewhere. You know what? Worried that you're going to take too much time here. A woman catches your eye amongst the crowds, her glow, gold cloak sings out. Neat? Neat looks away as you approach, but most have seen her. She drags two boys around by the wrists toward the harbor. I'm leaving. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. There's no more safe up there. There's no more safe in here. Realize that her eldest boy is missing and can make a safe guess why. He's gone? What did happen? He's not gone, he's dead. I don't blame you or myself, I don't even blame the dredge. 
Who's to blame for all of this? Do you know? Nobody can tell me. I just don't want to be here anymore. Anywhere but here. But just past having a silver price. Need wait. Stay. I know cards and you're not one of them. No, that's not good. Good luck. Luck to you as well. You've done more than anyone could have expected, but don't you see it yet? There's no, there are no right and wrong decisions, just what happens and what does not. Take care of yourself. Implying that she's a coward is not a very good idea. She's not. She's just breathing. She needs time. Families, elderly and children are still pressed up against the walls in staggering numbers. With no room to spread out, if they are caught in the midst of the modern dredge. We can't just leave them to fend for themselves, it is since we do not choose in it. Strike hard, selling as many as you can. You charge into the nearest star to the dredge, executing them before they can coordinate. Unarmed townsfolk scatter away from the fighting as best they can. You move on before more more threat come. Splitting your time between helping people and fighting the is taking its toll, but something else feels wrong, a different kind of wrong. Petrus follows you with a hand on your shoulder. Remember those powerful men in Arbor he talked about? I think they decided to make a move. This is one the one everyone's afraid so afraid of, sneers a man with a face that he remembers seeing him amongst Ruga's loyalists. A few dozen grizzled fighters and blades drawn. You notice they were the crest of many different houses. Dogs, leave them to me, Petrus says, mustering his guards. Ruga's stink is all over this. Go make him end this now. I'll keep or it will keep happening. Go do whatever it takes. Don't go easy on them. Oh, I won't believe me. I've been waiting for this. Is that some food? Don't stand here for Maybe can I as well? Yes. <clears throat> you cut furiously through the cell door, grabbing his full attention. This has to end now. There are people dying by the minute Sundr, the walls failing as we speak and still, STILL your classmen fight against us. I don't deserve all the credit. There are many players in this game. This is no fan board game. The mod feels far away, but it's still above the game of the carnage outside. What are those spells? Tradition. Actually, I might even get to see the blue smoke that goes with it. 
I've been dreaming of this day. Mail, finally dead. Sounds like you need me now, more than ever. Are you kidding me? You've lost your only... Why should we even let you live now? Last mail of thy days ago. Just didn't know it. That poison had no cure. When I learned the menders were forbidden from touching the mine, I found a suitable venom. He died in his sleep, dreaming of the most horrific visions. Also, I have been told. Vicious son of a bitch. Have you ever witnessed a city turn hungrily upon itself? Like a starving wolf eating his own cubs? Have you witnessed the rape, slaughter, and torture of thousands, the sound of it and the smiles of it? I have. Oh, and when that chaos spills over the edge, there is no cure, just like my elf. Should I die, you will see the, these things for yourself, I promise you that. So maybe now you will listen perfect to what I want. Only if your followers raise a hand to help instead of hunting us. They could be convinced. All it would take is joining your banner to mine. Do you make you the ruler of the end of the world? Don't worry, I'll leave you in charge of the war. It's a peacetime I care about. I'll even remain locked up here for now if it makes the, this easier for you to swallow. Why would I believe a word you say? You shouldn't. Let the banner speak for us. You will be under my protection and nobody will dare touch you. I'm a man of peace at heart. I'll do it if your men join the fight instead of giving us trouble. Once your banner is turned to mine, there will be nothing to trouble about. Trouble about. See how this works? Oh, and I'd like to do this in front of a crowd so there won't be any disagreements about what has happened. Lovely fumes returns to you on you and you're not sure if everything you heard is upset. This banner was my husband's. I could have taken it when he died, but I entrusted it to you. Not this scheming piece of- I'll have to let the case interrupts as one of your craftsmen. They're ready! He shouts excitedly. The old barrels are gathered! Okay, but I think this is a good place to end this part, so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive, and see you soon. Bye!